What's going on, everybody? Thrift Trader here with another live haul video. How are you guys doing this evening? Um, I'm actually going to wait just a little bit until a couple of people trickle in and we will get started. So hang tight. Hope you guys have been doing good. Hope you guys have been finding a lot of good stuff to sell on eBay. Yes, I've got this ridiculous bull's hat on. And no, I do not sport flat build snapback hats very well. <laughs> not my style. Not my style. How's everybody doing tonight? Hey, Max, what's going on? Shake and bake last night. Trey Graham. Where are we located? Max, we are in Oklahoma. How about yourself? What's going on? Handpicked closet. New York, Max from New York. Can you guys hear me all right? I'm surprised Trey Graham is actually awake at this time of night. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Loud and clear. Good. All right. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, I just wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up at the thrift store today. And uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Sounds good, Trey. Not a problem. Uh, this is one of the things I picked up at the thrift store. Paid $1.50 for it. It is a vintage Bulls snapback hat. Uh, it's made, I think, I think it's a 90s. But it's uh, made by uh, Logo, uh, Logo 7. Not bad shape. Not bad shape. Again, you know, I'm not... Uh, these are not hats that I usually wear. So don't judge me. Don't judge me. Let's see. Max said found 70 Hallmark keepsake ornaments. All Lionel trains. Wow. Classic cars for $45 all in box. Wow. I'm positive that's probably some money, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, not keeping it. Not keeping the hat. It's going to go up for sale. But, uh, okay. So... I am actually going to start by giving you guys kind of a rundown. I meant I try I was going to try and have this entirely done before um, our show tonight, but I had a few things that I need to get shipped. So um, I had to do that first. But I'm gonna share with you my screen and I'm gonna show you the Excel spreadsheet that I've got. I got everything. I went to uh, the goodwill bins and I also went to a, Goodwill thrift store today and I itemized everything I got from the thrift store and I want to show you um, everything on the spreadsheet so okay so here it is I don't know if you're able to uh, view it or not or see it let me see if I can well can I get it bigger Oh, well, anyways, um, I paid one hundred and five dollars, ninety five cents total at the thrift store. And um, I'm expecting to sell everything for seven hundred and ninety five dollars. And this is just an average. OK, uh, an average. My average profit margin across the board is usually around 40 percent of my total sales. So that's just what I use here. And it's three hundred and eighteen dollars profit. So getting what I paid back and the profit, I should be looking at pocketing $423 uh, 
And it was, uh, let's see here. Um, 18 items, I think. Oh, cancel that. Right here, 18 items. So, yeah, $423. Uh, no Goodwill no goodwill bins here, and Goodwill is so overpriced you can't get there. Uh, man, I'm surprised they don't have bins there in New York. I'm really surprised. What's going on, Julio? Thanks for dropping in, man. Um, but yeah, I was going to do the same here for everything that I picked up at the Goodwill bins, but I figured, shoot, you know, we could, uh, we could just go through that together, you know, um, let me get off of screen share. Okay. So yeah, I figure we could just go through everything that I picked up at the bins with y'all if you're interested in that. So, um, we'll go ahead and start on that. Dude, okay, so uh, this is one of the things that I picked up at the thrift store. I want to show you something to look out for anytime you're in the thrift store. Look, look, look for these at the thrift store and at yard sales because there's money in them. Okay, so this is a Logitech. Uh, this is uh, for PlayStation 3 and PC. It's Driving Force GT. Um, it's the, uh, it's just like a steering wheel with a shifter and pedals. So definitely look out for these cause some of them are worth a lot of money. And this one in particular, I paid, uh, I think it was, I paid $8 for this and, uh, I should be able to sell this for 90 to a hundred dollars on eBay. Um, maybe even more on Amazon. I'll have to look at it. So that's definitely something that I wanted to show y'all. Uh, oh, something else I wanted to show you guys. In case you didn't know, uh, now, now that we're uh, talking about snapback hats, um, this one in particular is only like around $30 or $40. Um, but there is one, uh, a vintage bull's hat by the same brand that... Uh, that um, sells for like a hundred bucks. I wanted to show you that. Let me share my screen real quick. So I have not been able to find, here it is for $90. And there was another one right there too. But uh, let me show you this, just in case you guys run across this one. They call it Splash, okay? Uh, and for some reason, this one is worth 90 bucks all day long. So if you find this one, definitely pick it up. And uh, there's also something else I wanted to uh, show you guys. Um, crazy. you see any of these pick them up let me go to sold and uh this is okay right here look at these vintage john deere patch snapback trucker hat there's another one to look out for look at how much these are going for some of these are absolutely ridiculous 300 and like 325 dollars 300 bucks so keep your eye out for john deere snapback hats i'm telling you you might be happy that you did you never know when you might run across one of those but uh Handpick Closet that said, say what, LOL, I pass up on those often. Yes. Um, yeah, those uh, those little driving, what is it, the steering wheels and with the pedals and stuff for like PlayStation and things. Yeah, they can go for good money. 
Um, Max said, found a 1992 Team USA basketball Magic Johnson snapback new. Nice. Nice. 50 cents sold for 35 bucks. Max, are you asking why for, about the John Deere hats? Man, I have no idea. Dude, if I knew the answer to that question, I think we would all be rich. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. They might be, you know, I think that they're rare. I think that they may have been, um, they may have been made for promotional purposes only. And because of that, there's probably limited quantity. I'm assuming that's probably why. They're probably promotional. Um, you know, I'm not sure. Like, I, I couldn't pick them out. It looks, it looks like the denim hats are worth a lot. Like the denim, the blue denim hats are worth a lot. And, um, the green one with just the John Deere patch on the very front seems to be worth a lot as well. Oh, not a problem, Julio. Okay. All right. So now we're going to get into uh, what I picked up at the bins. And I paid $50 for everything at the bins. Um, usually, depending on who's working the cash register, I can get a deal. But today, the cashier was um doing her job so i didn't get a deal <laughs> but uh i did pay 50 bucks i got like 17 or 18 pair of shoes and um i picked up uh two pieces of uh, uh electronics so um the first is this four uh this phillips um DVD VCR combo. Um, it is a DVP 3050V. Uh, I have not tested it yet. I paid two dollars for it. Um, the price per pound, I think, is a dollar fifty nine for clothing and two dollars per pair of shoes or men's and women's and a dollar for kids. So we're going to look this up real quick. Phillips. PVP. 3050V. Now, I know that this one's not going to go for a whole lot of money, honestly. Um, but, again, you have to remember, it was only $2. So we're going to do uh, used. And we're going to go to... Uh, ended recently so just for the sake of it we'll we'll just do that so here i'm going to share my screen yes max i do sell these combos without the remotes if i don't have the remote with it i will definitely sell it without um so we're looking at like 60 bucks here some of them is sold for less well that one actually had the remote so we need to look at something without the remote. So forty dollars. This doesn't look like it has a remote. Forty dollars. Forty I'm honestly probably going to price this at 50 and see if I can't get 50 out of it. I'll just include like some, uh, some of these, uh, RCA cables with it. See, here we go. And that's actually, it says new listing. So this, this was newly listed and already sold for 50. So, um, so we'll, we'll say it's 50 bucks. So.
All right, so now that we got that out of the way. Good Lord. So I saw this there too. And this is a uh, Intex uh, pool pump. It was in the box with a bunch of like tubes, like the water, like the tubes, the connectors and stuff. But all I really wanted was this. And so I picked this out of that box. And I think I gave $2 for this as well. And um, it's an Intex 635T. So let's look that up. Max said, uh, remotes are great finds at yard sales too. Yes, some remotes themselves can go for a lot of money. Definitely. So I said Intex 635T, I think. Intex 635T. Used. Okay. Let me show you guys this. All right. So here's a pre owned one. Uh, I went for $51 uh, total. Well, it says one bid and then best offer accepted. So I don't know. That's one of those uh, uh, auctions with best offer. Here's $47. Here's nearly 60. 60. So, you know, I think I might be able just just for this. I mean, I might be able to get 50 or 60 bucks out of it. So. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'll be happy with it. So, yeah. Okay. So we got 60 bucks on that. We'll just say. Do you guys do any thrifting today? So this is a Carhartt 3 Extra Large Tall uh, brown uh, denim uh, shirt, flannel lined. Um, there is some wear right here along the collar area, but you know what? I don't think it really matters, um, especially with this heavier stuff. Guys are just going to buy it to work in. So as long as the outside of it looks good, and it does, um, then dudes would still be interested. In it. Of course, you're not going to get as much out of it. You see there's a little wear on the inside sleeve as well. But uh, the sucker's still going to be warm. Red Wing Chuck is nice jessica graham said they found some uh her and trey found some red wing chucka boots those will be great so uh yeah carhartt stuff definitely look out for some carhartt uh it's it's definitely a good seller i'm gonna look this up carhartt denim Shirt, flannel lined, used, ah, uh, looks like about $25, so not too bad. So I ran across these uh, USA-made Levi's 501s. 
They're the button fly Levi jeans right here. Nothing special, run of the mill. I usually get $30 every time for these, 25 to 30. Um, so we're going to call it 30 bucks. And the strange thing, okay, I usually don't buy jeans and like clothing at my Goodwill because um, it's $1.59 a pound. And for just the jeans and this Carhartt, I paid like nearly $8. Which, I mean, I I would normally pay at the thrift store. So, I mean, like, I would only buy what I would buy at the thrift store there as far as clothing is concerned. So, that's 30. Okay, on to the shoes. I usually don't buy a lot in this brand, but um, these looked literally brand new, like never worn. And they're uh, they're Clark's Artisans. They're sandals, women's sandals. And I don't think that they've ever been worn, honestly. Um, the style number is 62441. So we're actually going to look that up real quick. Hempit Closet said, Clark's always sell well for me. Um, all of them, like the, the Clark, like it could be like the Clark's Bendables, Clark's Artisans. Um, what else is there? Crap. There was another one. I'm missing another one. What was this? 62441. Um, guys, if you guys are not watching Tino, the Soul Advisor on YouTube, I suggest you do it. He doesn't come out with videos very often, but the very few videos that he has up are very informative. So I would definitely check him out on YouTube. Uh, Tino, the Soul Advisor. Soul is an S O L E. Um, and that guy, last I checked, because uh, I follow him on eBay, last I checked, he's got somewhere around 3,500 active shoe listings. And the guy makes, I think he sells anywhere from $800 to $1,100 in shoes daily. So definitely check out his operation. It's crazy. Hey, Judy, how are you? Okay, so this is called uh, Brisk Dahlia Silver. If you don't know what the name of the shoe is, what you can do is find the model number and just Google it. Or uh, you can look on eBay and sometimes there will be listings with the model number on it. Yes, Tino, T-I-N-O. Oh, okay. Max said he's in Tino's Facebook group. No, he won't buy Clark's. I mean, the thing is, is like, like I said, this is a brand new shoe. I'm not going to list it as new, but I'm going to list it as in mint condition. And I'm going to show you uh, why here in just a second. 62441. I actually sold a pair of men's Clark's today for 45 bucks. Uh, brisk Dahlia. There's a lot listed. Yep. Okay. 
But you have to remember, Max, you have to remember, my cost on these are $2 a piece, okay? Tino is going after, I think his average cost is somewhere around $15 to $20 because he's buying premium shoes, not just at the thrift store, but he's also going to like, um, what is that place called? I can't remember, but he's going to uh, consignment shops too and buying a lot. Um, but here, let me show you this. Okay. Um, here's the very same pair. We don't know what it sold for. Okay. But, uh, I can tell you these black ones here sold for, uh, nearly $30. So I'm going to say that we can get $30 out of these. Okay. Um, especially with them being in the condition they're in. If we unclick use, here they are new. It sold for over seventy dollars. Um, these are not new. I mean, they're new, but they're they don't have tags and they don't have a box. So I'm gonna put used in like new condition. And um, yes, Plato's closet. And uh, there was another. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, so. This exact pair, brand new, goes for over $70. But I'm going to list them for Okay, so these are just uh, a pair of women's fossil um, ballet flats. It's got uh, like a belt detail on the on the the front here, or the toe, I guess, and they are leather. Uh. What are you asking, Jessica? Are you asking where I got these? or Let me see what this is. Okay, this is called a Maddox Maddox Buckle Black Leather Pebble Ballet Flat. Maddox Buckle. Used. Black. That's weird. Okay, looks like somebody... Wait, that is really strange. Okay, here, let me show you. Oh, um, no, it's another consignment shop. I'm trying to think. There's one in Edmond. We have one in Edmond. Uh, I cannot remember the life of it, or the name of it for the life of me. I can't remember. I didn't even know we had one until... Until he mentioned it, and I looked it looked it up. Okay, yes, clothes mentor. That's it. Yep, you hit it on the nail. Okay, so this very same shoe sold for twenty eight plus seven, so thirty five. So thirty five dollars for some. Here's the same one. It ended unsold for less than this. I guess it was 7% off here. And then the discount went away and it sold. But uh, let's see if there's any new ones. Just out of curiosity. No, nope, no new ones. So yeah, 35 bucks. 
Thanks, Max. Uh, So, yeah, uh, last week I bought 10 shoe racks from Amazon and they sell, uh, they, they should hold 40 to 50 pair of shoes. Um, I've got three of them put together because um, it takes me like 20 to 30 minutes to put one of them together. So I'm just putting them together as I need them. Uptown Cheapskate is good okay all right i'll have to check that out lauren said uptown uptown cheap skate is good is it cheap steak because i could go for some steak right now Okay, so this is uh, Cobb Hill by New Balance. It's just another. Uh, it's, it's just a, uh, a like a women's Oxford, kind of like a monk strap Oxford. Oh shoot! If it was that close to DSW, then Trey and I should have went over there. So let's see what this is. Cobb Hill. Oh, there it is. C A G zero one B K. <clears throat> okay, it's called Paulette. Cobb Hill Paulette Black. Size. Size eight. Now, I don't know why it says Rockport because it's not Rockport. But it's the same thing. All right. Let me just. Let me go to pre-owned. There's 23 used. Let me get that completed. Uh, 10 active. 12 sold in the past 90 days. So I'm looking at getting rid of this within three months. Uh, let's look at the solds together. Uh, 35 here. Again, I don't know why it says Rockport because it says it's obviously by New Balance. Rockport Cobb Hill. Oh, I guess it's just the name. Wow, look at this, guys. 35, 28, $60, $50, 37. Best offers. 27. I have no idea why they sold it for so cheap here. So I'm going to go on a limb and say I'm going to price this probably at 40 bucks. I might be leaving money on the table. You know, here's 60 bucks. My size is actually uh, size eight, which would be this $50 one. And I don't think that there's any size eight active right now. No. Nope. How much is the eight and a half? Okay, they're asking about 45 for it. And there's two seven and a halves. They're wanting 50 and 37. So 40 bucks. 
I'd say forty dollars would be good. Yes, there is good money in used shoes, and like I'm trying to preach that in in my uh, Facebook group, and uh, and I hope that people realize that you know there really is good money in shoes, and uh, I use I use Pirate Ship to do all of my shipping now, a hundred percent of it. So like some packages, it doesn't save me money, but it's just so much easier just to run all the shipping through one platform. And it all integrate integrates flawlessly with eBay. So, I mean, it saves me tons of money because it's um, it's cubic rate pricing. So, Okay, so this is a pair of um, men's original penguin. Um, Oxfords. It's a leather upper. I'm not sure what these are called. I found it earlier, but okay, it's right there. Waylon Brown. There are nine active and ten sold. Yes, Memphisto is a very good brand. That's a good name drop. Max, my Facebook is... Um, eBay Sellers Anonymous. So if you just type in eBay Sellers Anonymous in the uh, in the search bar on Facebook, you'll be able to find us. All right, so here's the solds for these. Not too much, not 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 a lot of money, but again, you know, I've only got two dollars invested in these. Um, 25, 30, 35. This is exactly like my pair. I'm not sure where the laces are, but it looks like I'm probably going to sell these for around $30. All right, Jessica, you guys be good. Take it easy breezy. Okay, so that's a $30 pair. So I did find a pair of shoes. These aren't it, but I did find a pair of shoes that we're going to see here in just a little bit that were worth upwards of $200. And I paid $2 for it, okay? I paid, in total, this entire thrifting trip, I paid $150, like $155, okay? So that one pair of shoes should pay for my entire, everything I bought today. So, um, these are Olukai uh, sandals. These don't go for extremely expensive money, but they sell and they sell quick and they sell well. They're just well made. Um, this one is 20103. Okay, it's Kumu and it's silver. Kumu, K U M U. Women's sandals and flip flops. Pre owned. We'll go silver.
Okay, let me show you this. Okay, so we've got a best offer, probably 30 or so, but that's not, these don't look anything like what I've got. These right here look exactly like what I have, and these do too. Um, this pair sold for over $50. I'm probably going to price these at 40 bucks. $40 for a pair of flip-flops, guys. And these actually look uh, in near-mint condition. Here, I'll show you. Look, there's like no wear at all on those. At all. Like in the, the toes, like there's no wear. These are practically in mint condition. So, 40 bucks. Oh, I got two different pairs here. Hang on. There's one. There's the other. Okay. So this is a pair of um, SAS men's shoes. They're like mock toe. A little beat up on the toe. Um, SAS tripod comfort. Walking shoes. The um, the style number has worn off of these. So I can't even tell you what the style is. But we're going to look these up real quick. Try our best to at least. Men's casual shoes. Let's look for the lace-up mocks. That's similar. Pre-owned. Okay. Let me show you this. Yeah, it's hard to beat. You know, when you can get shoes for $2, it's hard to beat. These right here are very similar to what I have. They're not quite it, though. That's not it either. No. Where are they? They're strikingly similar to these, but they're not it okay i'm gonna have to do more research on these but i'm gonna guess that they're probably 45 dollar shoes i know that men's sass shoes sell very well so i'm gonna assume that these are 45 dollar shoes Max said, one of my first sneaker sales in 2012 was a rare pair of men's Nike black white cement cement pattern lime green swoosh. Five dollars sold quick for 175 bucks in poor condition. Dude, that is a holy grail. That is amazing. Uh, Max, this is a SAS SAS. Um they're orthopedic shoes is what they are, okay? But I'm going to assume that these are probably $45 shoes. And that's a fair estimate, honestly. These were a cool find. Okay, 
Um, these are called uh, bicycle toe. All right, when you have a uh, seam right here and you have a seam right here, that's called bicycle toe. And these are Echo, which is another good brand. There's a lot of them listed, okay? There's a lot of them listed. But, you know, if you just wait out for the right price, the right buyer will show up and buy them. And these are uh, Leather Upper. I'm trying to read the model number on these. They're Vegetable Tanned, which is weird. Um, Echo three, four, four, five, four, maybe it's hard to read. Century, no, they're not. They're not Century. Are they? Well, they're not slip-ons. Yes, they are Century. But they're lace-up. Let me go to completed here. Uh, this is a pair that didn't sell. Uh, there's slip on as well. So let me take color off and see what we can come up with. These are, are exactly like what I have, except mine are in black. And they're asking forty, like forty dollars, forty-five dollars for them. So I will probably ask thirty-five. Uh, that's Amazon, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna quit boring you guys. So yeah, this is thirty-five. And I'll just have to hold out on those. Let me just uh, let me just show you guys some of these shoes. And. I'd like to think that everything I picked up was $30 or better, okay? Because I did comp the stuff when I was there, and I didn't want to mess with anything that was going to be less than $30. Bucks. Um, so everything I'm about to show you guys, the comps are $30 or better. Um, this is a pair of Dansko, and this is what, uh, this is what, the, what it looks like, Dansko. I don't know if you can read that. But uh, these are Mary Janes. Anytime you have a strap across the front there, that's called a Mary Jane. And this, uh, a lot of times, I think these are these are worn in the workplace, especially like nurses, nursing and stuff. But uh, this is a, a women's pair of shoes. These were like $45, if I remember right. Now these are only going to go for about 30 bucks, but I thought they were really cool and I couldn't leave them behind um, because the brand is not a very sought after brand, but they were cool looking. Um, they're uh, leather and suede and they're made by Duckhead. I just thought they were really neat looking, so I couldn't leave them.
Now, this was a good find, a really good find. This is a pair of men's Echo spikeless golf shoes, okay? Um, the very same pair, I think. Uh, here, this is the – there's, like, detail here. It's black with gray suede and then, like, red de uh, detailing. And the very same pair, I think, was going for, like, $60 used. So this was this was a good find. This is a pair of women's Justin boots, um, style thirty one thirty three. They're just solid black. Okay, um, good sole. And uh, I think that these were running anywhere between $30 and $40. cents is what I spent. Um, this is a pair of FootJoy uh, Contour. Uh, contour series uh, golf shoes right here I think these were running between 40 and 50 Max said echo is good just be sure uh, to do the bin test on the soles because they crack easily that is a good point that's a good point I'm actually going to check these real quick and these uh, these seem to be in great shape. So, we're good. <laughs> All right. So, these, I usually don't pick up shoes that are in this bad a condition, okay? Um, but it is cleanable, okay? And there's a lot of junk on the bottom, too, that I need to clean up, okay? But this is a brand to look out for. It's called, um, if I can remember, starts with an, uh, like, Extreme Boots, I think. MDM0003. I'm actually going to show you these. This is good. Okay, it's Twisted X. Um, and I wanted to show this to you. There's three pre owned, currently active in this style. And eight have sold. So if you do the math, that's, that's given us about almost three selling every month so if i put mine up i got a good shot at selling it within one month and these are kind of all across the board as far as how much they're selling for but they're selling um this pair sold for 38 32 here um, 38 here, 54 here, 33, 45 here, um, 28 here, and probably somewhere around the $50 range here. So, and, and they're in just as rough condition as mine, honestly. They really are. I don't know if they're meant to look like that. Or what? Um, but Twisted X is a brand to watch out for. They're Twisted X boots. Um, and of course, you know, these are driving mocks. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're selling. They're selling big time. You know, when you, have, when you have three active and eight sold in the past three months, you know you have a good buy. So I picked them up. Uh, 
Another brand to look for is Shoes for Cruise. Um, this is actually a pair of men's steel toe boots by Shoes for Cruise. And um, I think these these will probably only sell for about $40, but uh, some of them will sell for a lot more than that used. Um, I want to say that Shoes for Cruise is, is like a um, subsidiary of uh, Red Wing. I could be wrong in that, but uh, definitely a brand to look out for. They're made with the non-slip, and a lot of times they're used in industrial. Um, so, hence the word shoes for cruise. But these are steel toe. Again, I should be able to get about $40 out of these pretty easily. Only a couple more. Um, this is a pair of men's Cole Hahn, uh, size 12. It's like a, a leather Chelsea boot. I think that's what it is. I'm actually interested to know what this is all about. So hang tight. Cole Hahn. C. 09853. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, Air Jefferson boots. Is that what it is? Jefferson boot. I'm going to look that up. Um, men's boots. We're getting somewhere. Slowly. We got a pre-owned. Yeah, no completed, but similar style boots are selling for around 30 to 40. So who knows? I'll put these up for 30 to 40 bucks. All right, I've got two more pair, and then we are calling it good. So this is a pair of Cole Haan penny loafers, uh, men's penny loafers. I think these actually checked out at 40 to $50. And this, this was the holy grail of the day. Um... This is called Old Gringo is the brand. Old Gringo. And this is what it looks like. It's like a women's um, mule. Um, a women's western mule. And uh, it's pretty pretty wild what this thing went for. Let me see if I can show it to you. Women's old gringo boots. Not boots. Um, mules. All right, I'm going to show you this, and then I'm going to hop off here. Check this out. All right, so we'll go to used. There's 40 active. No, 40 completed. All right, so 15 active right now. And in sold, we've got 29 sold. And this is these are the prices that I'm getting. Like 
here's a, a black pair. Mine are black and like ivory in color. This sold for a hundred, almost, almost a, a little over a hundred and thirty dollars. But you can just look at these prices. It's pretty amazing. So if you find some of these, of course, obviously pick them up. hundred, Almost $120 here. $90. There was a pair in here that went for ridiculous amounts of money. Right here. $255. That's insane. So look out for this brand, Old Gringo. All right. So this, again, this is what the heel of it looks like. And they're just women's mules. So, guys, that's what I picked up today at uh, the bins for 50 bucks. And I would, I'd like to think that I did a pretty good job. Um, definitely, definitely good money in used shoes. Um, I definitely encourage anybody that's interested to get involved in it. Um, there's a lot of money to be made in pre owned shoes. It really is. But, uh, I appreciate you guys hopping on. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, hop on to my Facebook group, eBay Sellers Anonymous. I'm also on Instagram as Thrift Trader. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell so that you get notifications when I go live. Um, if there's anything that you guys would like for me to cover, um, let me know in the comments. I would like to. Uh, uh, I'd like to do some videos for you guys. And uh, Max, thank you so much. Uh, $60, $85. Uh, definitely. Yep. Uh, for those old gringo boots. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to hop off here. I know it was late. Thank you so much for joining me uh, again. I appreciate it. And uh, until next time, keep on picking and making that money. Talk to you guys later.